All righty. We're going to check this hive out. Like I said a while ago, you can tell a lot by the hive by the weight. It's kind of light. That one's a little bit heavier. So, hit him with a little bit of smoke. I guess you can't tell, kind of close to the high weight. This is a little bee yard that I just started this, uh, this year. It's right across from my house. I need to change these straps around. That way they're a little easier to get off. smoke under the hood. Now what we got, one full frame covered, rest of them, the bees are mainly right here. There's nothing on these outside frames. So my initial reaction to that is, these bees aren't doing good. But then again, these frames ain't never been draw, drawed out. When you have a hive like this, you're looking for wax moth damage, bee larva or a beetle larva. So this frame here has had wax moth damage from the past, but uh, it was probably just a frame I threw in there. There's one, if you've never seen a hive beetle, right there's one. Well, there's two hive beetles. That right there is a hive beetle. That right there is a hive beetle. If you see a hive beetle in your hive, not the end of the world, just crush them. We'll let the bees take care of the other one. What they do with the uh, hive beetles is they uh, normally keep them wrangled up. If you've got bees, you will have hive beetles, like it or not. That's just part of it. Very crappy brood pattern. What it looks like is this is just a bad queen. Some queens are good, some queens are bad. You can see there's there's brood right here, very little. There is some eggs that has been laid, but not very many. I'm just gonna chalk this hive being weak up to a crappy queen, as you can see. Brood pattern's crap. See if we can find her. Very little honey stores could be another problem. Reason why she's not laying very well. Matter of fact, this have, hive has very little to no honey stores. No pollen. And once again, we can chalk that up to a crappy queen. If she's not telling the workers to go out and get pollen and, and uh, nectar, then they're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. So one option we got mm -hmm. this is we could throw a honey frame or two in here to see if that'll help kickstart her and get this hive back to where it needs to be at. Or we could just let nature run its course and let them die. The bad part about a hive being this weak is you can have problems with the wax moths, which we have the beginning signs of wax moths on the bottom of this hive. They're not actually in the comb. So what I'm gonna do is break this hive down a little bit. 
we're going to take all the uh, foundation out that hadn't been drawn. If we do have a little bit of drawn foundation, or well, uh, drawn out foundation, we're going to slide it over closer to the bees. I see that one's only partially drawn out. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to take this one out. And what I'll do is give these bees just enough of the hive that they can defend. I may be going to take that comb out. Well, see there's nothing drawn on, out on this. And there's a hive beetle. Two hive beetles. So what I'll do, hopefully that wind's not picking up in the camera. I'm gonna kill that hive beetle there. And that one right there. I'm gonna break this hive down to just four frames. And the reason why I'm doing that is, uh, so these bees will be able to defend this. I could go home, go back over to the house, and get uh, my five frame nuke and put them in it. See all that right there? That's uh, wax moth on the bottom board that I have. So at one time, it looks like the wax moths were trying to take over this hive or they're fixing to try to. So that's another reason to break this hive down. Now what I've done, I've shrunk them down to just four frames. That's something that they can uh, actually defend and protect against. There goes another hive beetle. Uh, that'll give these bees a chance. I'm gonna feed these bees. I'm gonna probably have to go home and make up some sugar water and stuff, and I'm gonna end up feeding these bees. So, uh, that's what's going on with this hive. We broke it down. You can take these hive, these uh, frames home and put them in a garbage bag and freeze them. I have a freezer at my house that's set up just for freezing uh, bee equipment. The reason why you freeze is it kills any eggs, any larvae, anything else that's uh, that's on those frames. That way if you put them in another hive it doesn't uh, spread to it. So I've broke these bees down to a manageable thing and uh, we're going to see what happens with them. So we'll keep you posted on that hive. I'm going to get these frames up and put the top back on it. I think I got a boxing trick. But uh, If you have a weak hive, you sh show signs of uh, uh, the hive beetles, you know, you go, if you see four or five hive beetles in your hive, it's not the end of the world. Uh, the bees can take care of that yourself. If you start to see signs of wax moths in a hive, uh, you need to break that hive down. If it's a double stacked hive, you need to take it down to one box, give them just what they can defend, and they'll actually take care of the wax moth problem yourself. So, hope y'all learning from the videos. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe so you'll know when the uh, other videos are coming out. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.